Hello everyone. So uh, yesterday we worked on a multicolored outline system uh, for characters or whatever the meshes that you want to show outlines. Uh, and today I'm going to show you how to make those outlines animated as you can see in this demonstration. So here you can see I have many different colored outlines and the outlines are now animated. So you can see some movement along the outline like this. So it's, it's, it's not a seem it's not a complicated material. It's just once you have the outline effect, you can just easily make this animated effect. So I'll show you how to do it. And before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done from my Patreon page. Uh, once you become a member, you can access all the projects without any limit. So feel free to check it out. To the date, there are over 2000 projects, 2000 videos in my channel. And for each video, project files are here. Right. Now, let me revert the material, post process material as of the previous episode so it's like this this is the updated one this is the one i used yesterday and we created yesterday mpp outline as you can see here there are no animations so let me duplicate this mpp outline animated and i'll assign it as for now we are not seeing any difference any animation because we haven't even made any changes to this yet okay let me remove these unused parts and yeah this is the material setup we have right now so this and bring this part Okay, now this is this line is where the outline color is coming for me. So now in order to have some kind of animation, I'll first get the texture coordinate. Uh, let me just show you. So if I access the texture coordinate and if I do a component mask, Just the R channel that means X channel and if I directly put it here you see it's going from black to white and here if I would assign it becomes something like this and here if I would just tap this it would be Point 0.5 becomes something like this okay maybe we don't need this part oh this seems good actually okay now if i increase the period no decrease the period oh, now we get lines like this strips so yeah so if i multiply this outline color with this you will get red or whatever the outline color then black then the color then black so you will get a pattern like that so let me just show you that yeah apply now you see the outlines are here, these strips are here, but see, but they are too big. So maybe I can decrease this further. Yeah, now we see some visible difference. But I need uh, now it's only uh, across horizontal uh, axis. The change is happening so if i want to have the same effect 
along the vertical axis too. Let me connect this again. So it's like this. So here I get mask component mask, and this time I get G, and I will basically do the same thing, and then. What if I add this together? Okay. Now we get a pattern. Like if I oh yeah, this is the pattern we get. So okay, and if I apply this, and you see here, yeah. Now we see. Now we get the black and color, black color like a pattern. Okay, now in order to move this, we need we can use a panel here. This and access page point one. Maybe it might be too fast. Yeah, it's too fast. 0 0.01. Yeah, that's good. Right. Here, yeah, now we have the animated outline effect. Okay. Right, so here is the final effect and that's all I want to do in this episode. So thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available here for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description and let me know if you have any questions. See you in some other episode. Goodbye.